sé yo, si lo muevo, no, voy a mover el eje directamente y a, a lo mejor limpiamente hago así y ya está, el motor está girando. Ahora si tengo que subirlo, lo voy a subir. no lo voy a poner en la mesa directamente, lo voy a poner en el piso y les aclaro que no tengo sótano. Bueno. Big deal, big deal. Donita, comita. Qué ventana. Te voy a decir, moving. いきました。二足、三足、四足、三足、二足、一足。A streamlined car flashes by at over 300 kilometers per hour. But there's no sound of an engine. This is an electric car, propelled by motors and batteries.
With eight wheels and more than 600 horsepower, it's a genuine supercar. Japanese technology has realized these tightly wound coils. But the coils alone are not enough to produce 80 horsepower. There's another vital ingredient, a revolutionary permanent magnet technology for the motor shaft. A rare earth permanent magnet of unprecedented strength is used. Invented by a Japanese manufacturer, it's said to be the world's strongest magnet. It can attract 5,000 of these steel balls. The magnets in just one of the Alika's motors can hold up a steel mass of more than one ton. This kind of magnet enables a motor more powerful than any other to be built. How exactly does the inverter perform the difficult task of controlling a motor as it runs at high speeds? The inverter monitors the positions of the magnets. It uses this information to calculate how much current the coils require and instantly issues the necessary commands. The faster the motor runs, the more crucial is the time lag between taking a measurement and issuing a command. Time lags were calculated in advance and factored into the inverter's programming. The electric car doesn't produce the distinctive rumble of an engine. The Alika sounds more like a jet aircraft as it speeds up. <laughs> but the Alika is economical as well as powerful. If the electricity it uses is calculated in terms of gasoline, the Alika is more than twice as fuel efficient as an engine powered car with the same weight and running performance. with the best of Japanese technology, the Alika runs faster and faster. As Katayama floors the accelerator pedal, the car rockets past the 300 km per hour mark. In this test, the car reaches a top speed of 320 km per hour. For safety reasons, it can't go any faster on this particular track. Later, on a track in Italy, the Alika will reach 370 kilometers per hour. Does it really have more power than a car with an internal combustion engine? The Alika's opponent is a Porsche. After working on electric cars a hundred years ago, Ferdinand Porsche began working on cars with internal combustion engines. They're off. The Alika is the first to reach 160 kilometers per hour. Let's see it again. First, the Porsche sprints into the lead. After 3.8 seconds, the Alika matches the speed of the Porsche. Once the speed hits 100 kilometers per hour, the Alika pulls away from the Porsche. The Alika hits 160 kilometers per hour in just 7.04 seconds. At this moment, the Porsche is doing 138 kilometers per hour. 
The Porsche doesn't reach 160 kilometers per hour until the 9.2 second mark. This is proof that the Alika can accelerate just as well as the fastest engine-powered cars. For electric cars to be mass-produced in Japan, an automaker will have to be involved. Yoshida and Shimizu have been trying to persuade this company. The audience is a group of business and engineering managers. It's their first look at the eight-wheeled electric Galika. They all examine it closely and try to evaluate it. The test drive begins. The automaker has provided one of its latest four-wheel drive cars for the acceleration test. あの、ちょっと増しすぎるぐらい増せたんですけど、やっぱり加速力も全然違います。スタートでしたら。これはすごい。あのですね、ロケット発進というか、あの、要するに今までの本当車の感覚じゃなくて、まあこれからやはり環